<laughs> Internet, you're watching the Cross Counter Invitational. That's what it's called, right? That's right. That's what it's called. And we're sitting here at Umba. That's what it's called, right? In Laguna Hills. Make Laguna it happen, Hills Internet. Uh, it's it's really nice here. You know, they it's got brand, all the it's a brand big new screens. Spot. Yeah, brand it new it smells new. That's the first thing I said. I, I like know. it. I like it. <laughs> it's really cool. You know, there's venues like this. They run or they organize tournaments for multiple types of games. Not there's just not just uh, console games. And PC oh yeah, games. They yeah. Do tabletop as well. Mm -hmm. All kinds of stuff. They're really trying to just any kind of competitive gaming. It sounds like they're really into it, and that's cool. I like competitive gaming. Chris G decided not to fix the strap of his backpack. Abandoned that uh, issue. And he's just gonna. He's been shaking his head in every load screen. Have you noticed that? That's Chris's thing. He's just like displeased. Load times. He must play Bloodborne. There's a lot of load times in that game. <laughs> Are there? Yeah. Yeah. Next gen PS4. They're calling it Bloodborne. Ooh. Yeah, it's rough. The internet. They're so clever, right? Who That's what I love that? about them. That's what I love about the internet. I thought you weren't an internet guy, Eris. No, no. See, here's the thing about it. It's really nice when you just glance in the window, but you don't spend any time in the house. You know? <laughs> I just glance in, see what they're doing. It's pretty funny. And then, I, all right, I'm out of here. I had enough. But if Yo, you walk yeah. through the door, like if you have, you know, if you go on the Reddit, ooh, careful. Careful. Dangerous. Turn you into an internet degenerate, or what? well, I mean, you know, if you have a job you hate, you got to do something while Ooh. you're there, right? Okay, here we go. Sakura, of course. Chris G pulling out the big guns now. That's right. And no then we have Brent around with Yang. I think this is going to be a serious match from both players, big time. Oh yeah. Here we go. Dive kick. Oh. Chris G, very confident player. You know, I was speaking to him earlier. He really. Feels as though he's able to beat just about any player in his mind, which is really uh, the, what you have to do as a top player, you know? Yeah, as a top player, you have to believe that you are the best. It's not even belief, you know? It's like they, it's not even, they know it, you know? Sometimes you talk to these guys and they're like, yes, I will beat all of them, you know? Confidence. That's Spanish. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure if it really is. Okay, here we go. Neutral jumping. The EX version. Get off me, amigo. Combo City. Wow, the pressure from Chris G. Chris G means business, man. You know, we really haven't seen him in, in, in a while. You know, he's been kind of uh, MIA, I guess, for a bit. But uh, Tempo Storm recently picked him up. Esports team. Excellent. Hearthstone, you know. They were like, yeah, we want a fighting game player. Let's get Chris G. Yeah, he's definitely a good one to acquire. Oh, yeah, definitely. Nice anti-air from Chris G. One of the most valuable free agents in the business. I can agree with that. Ooh, baiting it out. That was, uh, that was sick. <laughs> it was like, do that, please. Oh, oh not happy. Chris G not happy, not happy at all. It's not over, though. Let's see how happy he is in a moment. Wow. <laughs> nice backdash. Stays out of trouble. Chris G's got Super a lot of meter calm. to work with. He's not going to... All he needs is one opening. Oh, my Oh, don't goodness. get hit. The cancel. Oh! Oh! The defense. Oh, my God. Gutex. That was so sick. Chris G playing with fire oh! right here. Oh, my gosh. He was really going for the kill right nice. there. I respect that. Nice. Brent, all his bar going for the kill. Brent now hanging starts, in there. Yeah, he's starting the third round with quite the meter deficit right here. He's trying to open him up now. So, you know, there's a top level uh, Korean Tekken player and he, he told me something that I think I, I'll never forget when it comes to tournaments. He said in the first round, you have to learn three things about your opponent. If you don't, you're behind. Okay. I, I what are those three things? No, no, just like uh, oh, any three anything. Things. You have oh, to learn three independent tendencies Facts. Okay. Yeah, about your opponent. Sure. And if you don't know three by the end of the first round, then you're behind. And this is, he won SBO, he's like, uh, his name's Nin, he's a legendary Tekken player, and I, I took I, it to heart, you know, I think it's true. That is the smartest thing I've heard all week. Thank you for sharing that of with course, me. Of course, it's part of my job. Okay, alright, so this is what we're gonna do. Oh. Every new match, after the first round, <laughs> we're, we're gonna, gonna keep try to think of well, three things, yo, okay? We got, uh, it's harder for someone who doesn't know the game, <laughs> you know, so you gotta, you gotta really pay close attention. It's really the type of thing that... You have to pick up on the little tendencies. Like, wow, look at Chris G's, uh, uh, what do you call it? His, his expression. Uh, yeah, he does not look happy right now. He is shaking his head so hard. Okay, okay, here we go. Game two. Walking up, aggressive. Showing that he feels like he should have won the last game. Already in the corner. Ooh. Nice break by Gotta Brent. keep him in the Oh, nice counter hit. This is gonna hurt. On the verge of stun, maybe? Throw the fireball, high-low. Ooh. Ooh, 
okay. Position change. Now what's Brent gonna do? Jump back in the corner and throw again? I like that. One more. Don't back dash. Okay, pressure. Does she not backing up right there? Just walks forward and hits standing fierce. Yeah, and he's done such a great job of baiting out the uh, Messiah kick. Super effective at that. Brent's still in it though. Mm, chip okay. damage away. Ooh, by one pixel. If you crouch while you block Sakura's EX Hurricane Kick, will any of the hits whiff? If what? If you crouch block EX Hurricane Kick nah. from Sakura? Uh, maybe under certain conditions. Or some characters, perhaps? Small characters? Maybe. Okay, oh, EX. Oh, nice bait again. Ooh. Oh, wow, interrupts it. And gets the big combo. Okay, here we go. Airborne, though. Nice. We're in the corner, not enough for one. Yeah, those could use a meter. I mean, Brent is out of meter, but he did have the positional advantage. Put Chris in the corner. Still got a pretty good life lead here, but Chris G will just hold forward. Yeah, he's really pressing. Who cares? Just Wow, nice, nice spacing by Chris G there with the back walk and sealing the deal on the ultra combo. Neutral jumping on Okazemi. You know, I've heard, uh, you know, sometimes I watch Justin Wong streaming and I've heard him talk about how uh, Rufus doesn't really have any good get off me, wake up moves. Even what about Messiah. EX Messiah. Even Messiah. Because he was, the start of it so long? Well, he, he was saying that even Messiah doesn't really work the way against top level players. There are many, many ways to stuff it and option select it. Mm. So. It's interesting to me because from my perspective, I would think that Messiah is like one of those really effective moves. But I guess there are ways to really own him up for trying to use it. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing, you know, Brendan's like, you know, a high-end player and we're seeing yeah, Chris only, G. Yeah, he only hit him with it like once. Yeah, exactly. It's not really working out as well as you would think on paper. No, Chris is mad. Yeah, it looks like it. Nice meaty fireball. Another Messiah gets baited out. But he gets out of the corner with it and the pressure... A little too much. And Rufus's low stun really came back to bite him in the ass right there. Oh man, the combo is nice timing. Building up that meter. The pressure. Oh, oh my. Yeah. Now he's nodding. Now he's nodding. Feeling himself. Yeah, he definitely nodded seven or eight times very quickly. And you know what that means. Give me another round right now. Quick. <laughs> wow, neutral jump fierce. Put this round into my veins. Yep. Okay, here we go. Cracking the shell again. Jump over. <laughs> oh, Rufus on the verge of stun right now. Yes, Messiah. Okay, he's getting it to work this time. Nice job. Ooh, didn't combo though. Chris G just holding forward. Who cares? Yeah, he's very confident in his offense and his reads. Nice. Oh my gosh, the lockdown. The there was nothing shit. that Brent could have done. In that scenario, Impressive Chris work. G shakes his head, says, I'm not satisfied with my performance. Should have done it faster. He's a speedrunner. Oh, having trouble with the chair again. 